نور انفسنا وسيئات اعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له واشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن الا وانتم مسلمون يا ايها الناس اتقوا ربكم الذي خلقكم من نفس واحده وجعل منها زوجها وجعل منها زوجها وبث منهما رجالا كثيرا ونساء واتقوا الله الذي تساءلون به والارحام ان الله كان عليكم رقيبا يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله وقولوا قولا سيدا يصلح لكم اعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم ومن يطع الله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما ثم اما بعد My brothers and sisters, usually whenever we are living in this life, we always have the question. There is nobody on earth whom he or she, even being kids, they don't look forward for their happiness. Being Muslim, being created by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and you being blessed to be from the nation of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the definition of happiness each and every single individual, as a matter of fact, there are people attending workshops, searching for what are the things and the tips how we can survive and to enjoy this life. So many people, when you ask them, what is the main happy moment? He or she will reply, if I have enough kids. Some of them, if they would uh, answer the question, I wish if I have this much of money. I wish if I have this much of wealth. Even those people who are sick, when you ask them what you are looking for, he or she will say, I wish if I can be okay so I can do more and more in this life. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us the answer in the Quran al Karim. <coughs> All of us, just ask yourself how many times we are reading al Quran al Karim properly. When I say properly, that we don't give al Quran al Karim just whenever we have a spare time. No way. The priority in this life is for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and His book. The answer comes from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in al Quran al Karim. A'udhu billah sami al alim min shaitan al rajim. من عمل صالحا من ذكر او انثى وهو مؤمن فلنحيينه حياه طيبه ولنجزينهم اجرهم باحسن ما كانوا يعملون. This is the answer. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the Quran al-Karim من عمل صالحا من ذكر او انثى whoever being a male or a female who work properly, good, do good deeds in this life, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala promised them to give them a luxurious life in this life and later on. Let's think about this ayah, the answer in this ayah for our happiness. There are steps for each and every single machine to operate the machine, you have to go through the steps, through the instructions. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, when He created us, and let us to be wise and to understand properly the religion and to follow Muhammad sallallahu steps, his, his rules and regulations, you will live a very peaceful life. So many people will have that answer of I'm tired, I'm fed up from this life. Did you ever try to just close your nose and your mouth for a few seconds when you're going to lose your life? Immediately you will jump and you will take off your hand from your mouth and your nose because you cannot tolerate who is holding your breath. If we take a deep breath, it's not in our hand to exhale outside. This is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's hand. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, last night there are people who went to bed 
and they didn't wake up. There were people last night, they were in bed. Today, after Asr prayer, will be in their graveyard. It could be me, you, just think for a second. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give you the pleasure. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give you the chance to survive and to be a living human being, to attend Jum'ah prayers. So this is the definition of happiness in this life. Think about it, my brothers and sisters. And what we are doing, most of the time, if we are upset, if we are depressed, look and think carefully. What did we do? You will find out that there are things which taking your efforts away from thinking about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You are praying five times. Jama'ah, you are fasting Ramadan, you are giving your zakat, you perform your hajj. This is the bulk of happiness in this life. Money goes and comes. Kids will be with you for a while. When they grow up, they will leave you. Nothing will be, will be left with you in this life. I'm not talking about after our death. In this life, whatever will be left in, with you, is your amal, is your good deeds because without amal salih we will not fulfill what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told us in this ayah الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أجمعين. My second خطوة I made it for people who are right now suffering around. Our first خطوة we mentioned that what are the things which lead us to be happy in this life. Prophet Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم he said من أصبح آمن في سرب معاقل في بدنه عنده قوت يومه فكأنما حيزت له الدنيا بحرافرها رب محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم said whoever awake in the morning and he is secure he has all the full security within his family within his country and he is not sick in his body and he has the food and the supply for his day, not for tomorrow. That the whole world, the whole life is with him. I brought up this for us being Muslim and we have to feel the feelings of our brothers and sisters whom are they are under the siege for the last whatever weeks especially in the area of Malaya. Malaya, you have to know what's going on right now in Malaya and Syria. People are dying not because of bombs. People right now are dying because of hunger. All of you watching the TV, all of you being in the Twitter and Instagram, and you are watching our brothers and sisters and our kids how they are suffering and they are dying slowly. Some of them they are wish they wish if they've been killed by a gun rather than to die slowly <coughs> by hunger. Yesterday there was there are there are people who brought up some movies about them. People right now in Madaya are eating the green leaves. Um, People are right now asking scholars, asking for fatwa. Are we allowed to eat cats? Are we allowed to eat dogs? Brothers and sisters, the doors for donation is being opened in this Kuwait, the lovely Kuwait, because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect Kuwait because of those people, those of you people who give the full amount of support for their brothers and sisters. They are our brothers and sisters. It is my responsibility 
coming today together with this khutbah to at least put some light. Have a plan today with your kids. If you are planning to go for a shopping mall, there is nothing to do with the shopping mall or to go for your picnic. But think about those people who are right now under the siege, the refugees. Magaya people are 16,000. Other than 7,000 refugees came to them. They being given under the siege, they don't have enough food. There is not even, we cannot mention enough, they don't have food. They are dying, they look cachectic, they look sick. My brother and sister, don't tell me I have nothing to do, I don't have enough things. Believe it or not, when they will come, we will ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that if I wish you I would have been back in this life, to do what? To give sadaqah. Don't ever let shaitan, don't ever let the devil to block you, not even to give one KD. The charities in Kuwait, the internet, you can go to their websites, you can donate, you can visit them, you can even donate by transmitting the word. Have a small campaign within your community. Get the photos of those people. Let our kids watch their brothers and sisters in the religion, in deen. So many areas among the Islamic countries are suffering. How far? Believe it or not, we are not immune. We are not given the guarantee that we don't have the same thing they can. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created us to be the upper hand to give. They used to tell her, whenever a poor guy comes to you, Ask for sadaqa. You never put your hand in the upper hand. You always put sadaqa in your hand and to let the fakir to take it. The poor guy. She said, Sayyidina that she doesn't want him or she doesn't want her to feel the superiority of Sayyidina Aisha. My brothers and sisters, I'm urging myself and you. We have to do a lot of dua today, right there for our brothers and sisters in Islam. And to try our best to donate even a minimum amount, believe it or not, this minimum amount, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can take away from you, Shar, and give us the security in this country and the other country. Allahumma <laughs> islam wa muslimin wa adil al-shakka wa al-shakkin wa jamdur illa humma